Okay, look, you do, you do, you do, you do, you do, I love you so much, but I'm gonna go now, monkey. You'll be okay. Yeah, you'll be okay. Hi, beautiful. Heatless curls are actually kind of the best. They keep your hair looking sexy, feeling sexy, feeling healthy, looking healthy. L losing a finger. There's so many different techniques. It's such a little effort, and that's why I love heatless curls. Today, we're trying 11 heatless curl methods. I don't know why 11, but it's an even number. No, it's not. What, Brad? I just like the number 11, so we're doing 11 today. And we're gonna slay the hair away. I'm gonna show you all the different ways of curling the hair with some different weird tools and some things with just your hands. And you're gonna discover some new things, hopefully, that you might wanna try on yourself because heatless curls are the vibes, baby. So I did plan this video. I know, I never planned shit, but today I did. This is the best I could come up with. Okay, guys, so just don't laugh. Don't laugh. Stop, stop laughing. Stop. I'm determining that this looks fine. You know, I can do this. I gotta put this up a little further. I can't even see. There we go. See, guys, I can do it. Oh, there I am. So, what's gonna happen here is we're gonna do. Hold on. Oh. Ooh. So if you don't already get how I'm gonna do this, I am going to be curling my extensions with all different methods Probably like three on one of them and then we'll move on to the next one And I'll walk you through how to do them and then the hair will dry and then we'll take them out And we'll look at the curls and you can discover which ones you love the most which ones you hate which ones you want to try on yourself That's my hope. We got a couple things to start with those two. Okay. I gotta get some water. Uh Oh, where's my water? All right, and we obviously need some some wave tech. So let's prep these. Bitches. We got our wave tech here. We're gonna spray this down. I'm gonna. My wall is gonna be wrecked after today. Cause you know we start with damp hair when we do heatless curls, right? Excuse me. That's gonna be an issue. Should I tape it? I'll tape it. Down. I have duct tape. I'm not afraid of a little duct tape. Yeah. So look at that. All right, let's put a little wave tech in because it just makes all of our curly wavy hair dreams come true. Oh sh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Chill. Oh, there we go. Okay. These ones looked the most fun and I actually have no idea how to use these. Oh my god, how do you use these? Oh, right. So with these, this is gonna give you a nice spiral curl, right? We're gonna take our hairs, we're gonna right on there, and then we're gonna feed it through this loop. I've actually always wanted to use these things, I just had no reason to. Um, but maybe after this, maybe I'll curl my own hair with this. Oh, okay. Oopsies. Oh, oops. A little technical difficulty, but we're gonna get through this. Okay, there we go. So I'm gonna fish this bit through, and then I'm going to hopefully pull all the hair. <laughs> if I'm not doing this right, call me up, please. Okay, then we fish the hair through, and we just, we pull it through. Oh, and we, oh, there we go. Okay, and we got the hair at the bottom. Boom, Wait, let's, let's, let's do that. And then we just, and we, ah, yes. And we do that. Yeah, baby. Work. Our first one is complete. These swirly swirl things are fun. Next up, we got foam rollers. I knew the name of that. I don't know why I looked at it. Don't come for me, please. People come for me enough online. I don't need any more. These just remind me of like a Barbie doll, which I love Barbie dolls. As a kid, I, you know, was gay. It comes as a shocker to people. And um, what I was getting at was that I loved Barbies, but I was like too afraid to admit it. And I really regret that. You know, if there's one regret I had in life, it's not playing with Barbies enough. All right, with the foam rollers, right? We're gonna wanna take a section as wide as the roller, make sure there's no knots, and we are just going to start at the bottom and roll our way up. Make sure there's no hooks at the bottom, okay? So make sure that hair is all the way wrapped around. If I, there's hooks in here, it, it's fine, guys. I'm trying to do my best, but as you know, I don't do a lot of roller. What am I talking about? I don't know. It's, sometimes it's really hard to talk and do hair at the same time, and it's my job, so it's like slay, but like also like, ugh, you know. Okay, there we go. This one can take a little bit of practice. Boom, done. That is the, oh, I missed one little strand. Whoopsies. Okay, up next we have these things. I know what you're thinking. You're like, what is that? That's so cool. I think that might've just been me actually, but they are cool. Basically they look like this. You wrap the hair around and you flip it over so the hair stays wrapped. I've never used these things before and I am very intrigued. I really like this. This is good for me. Great mental health exercise today. I'm gonna more like twist the hair around so it gets more wavy rather than and like curly like this and then I make sure those ends are tucked in and then I'm gonna whoop 
I really like this one. This one's a 10 out of 10 for me already. I don't even care if it looks good. I just love it. I love it so much. Okay, this one is, <laughs> mm, I don't know what's going on in here. You look like you're suffocating. Um, are you okay? This girl, I don't know how to open you. Ah, I opened it. These things, you do this, okay? You just do a little at the ends. This is gonna give you the tiniest little curl ever. Maybe it's gonna be cute. All right, get those ends wrapped in there just like that. And we're gonna curly, curl, curl, curly, curl, curl, wavy, 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 all the way up to the top of the head. And then we're gonna just do a little just like that and then a little twist and there we go wait that went better than planned these 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 i've played with these too many times in my life flexible rods all right wave tech wave foam a little bit of water if you're doing this to yourself do it out of the shower so you don't have to like dry your hair and then wet it again i think that's obvious but i don't know and now we are going to start at the bottom of the hairs we're going to wrap the ends around it really helps if your hair is wet that way it just kind of sticks to the rod make sure there's no hooks in the ends and then we're gonna wrap a doodle wrap wrap oh god the hair is falling out of the thing at the top. All right, we're gonna do a little, a little rappy. Oh no, oh no, 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 please don't fall out. Please don't fall, no. Once you're at the top, come on baby, stay up there. Come on baby, shit. All right, once you're at the top, you just gotta twist it and tie it. Bruh. <laughs> and it stays. Can you see that? Our next utensil is a straw. It's really up to your own discretion, but I'm gonna show you how I like to use it. We're gonna start at the top and we're just gonna wrap the hair around the straw like this, that it twists as we wrap. I think that gives it the most prettiest curl wave possible. Oh wait, I did it upside down. Just kidding. <laughs> Let's do it again with the bendy side down. <laughs> All right, once you get to the bottom, let's fold the straw and let's take a pin and we're just gonna pin the hair like that. Oh, nobody told me it would unravel. We're gonna also pin the hair at the top because this unravels and we don't want that. A straw. All right, I've seen these things all over the tickety rickety talkity or Dockety. You put this on both sides of your head and you like wrap it around and I've been wanting to try it and today's the day. So it comes with a clip. Just pretend that this is on the side of her head and we're gonna wrap the hair around just like we did with the last one. And then we take our clip. This one's so freaking easy. And we just clip her into place. Look at my experiments. Okay, <laughs> please. Okay, it's okay. I can, I can, I can, I can do this. I can do this. Please, extensions just work for me. It's sock time, baby. Yes, you heard that right. All right, let's take a section and we are going to just put this on here and we're gonna wrap it around. Using a dirty sock is a plus, by the way. If you wanna use a dirty sock, that makes the curls stay way better. Okay, at the top, before this falls off, I'm just gonna make a knot with the sock. I was so close to this staying up here. All right, we got our sock in and that's how it should look. Beautiful. It's like starting off like cute and then it's just like slowly getting disgusting looking. Like really messy. Did somebody say Velcro rollers? I heard one of you. Usually we use these on dry hair, but it's also okay to use on wet hair. These ones are super, super easy because they basically just stick to your hair and it's super convenient. We're gonna start at the bottom. We're gonna... You... Mother... Like honestly, it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Round two. Might take five rounds, but we'll get there. We're wrapping it and we're going up. And honestly, these babies are a dream because they're just so sticky. You know, like a good Velcro is just so sticky that it just <laughs> stays on itself like that. Okay, so there we go. I did it. You know, the sock is just a little too heavy for this. That's gonna have to do. Okay, I have time for like one more. Two more, I'll do two. We're gonna do a simple pin curl because this requires no tools, just your hands. Actually, it's a lie. I did just lie because you do need something to pin the pin curl. I like to use flat clips. So all I did here was just take my two fingers, do it like that, and I'll wrap it around your fingers. This is what they did in the 1920s, right? To get that flapper girl. And we're just gonna pin that right on the top so it looks like that, nice and flat. And why not have the finale be something major? Something groundbreaking like... Yes, you guessed it, a braid. I know. It's my most creative one today. I had to give the braid some credit, God, guys. The braid has served us and it is gonna serve today probably too. 
we did 11 different heatless curls. Boom! So I'm gonna let this dry, and we're gonna come back, and I'm gonna do an unveiling of every single one of these, and it's gonna be so satisfying and so fun, and we're gonna see what we like, what we don't like, our personal vibes, and maybe you might try one of these on yourself. I'll be back. It is time to take the curls out. They have dried, I think, I hope. That would suck if I started taking them out and they weren't dry. Let's start off with the first one I put in, which is this thingy. I don't know what it's called. This one is so much fun already to take out. I literally could play with these things all the time. So I just pull this thing down and then boop, and there it is. Wow, that is really curly. I feel like it's not doing that, that much right now on the head. It's on actually extensions, but on a, on a real head, doing a lot of these would look so stunning. If you put more hair into this, it'd be way less tight and springy like it is right now but I really like this one and it's super fun and super curly this is definitely gonna be one of my favorites I just like the way it went in the hair and the way it came out it's kind of like a sleigh okay now onto the foam rollers which is more of a traditional thing to do so let's take this baby out oh shit. this one is definitely a ringlet curl this will definitely drop but right now it is quite bouncy and like really curly. If you did your whole head in these rollers and you brush your hair at the end, oh my God, you would get that Marilyn Monroe wavy look and it'd be so sexy. Okay, now it's kind of like our new age pin curl type thing. This mechanism that is like rubber that folds over. So let's unravel this. And this one is giving something. I'm not obsessed with it. You know, these things are so tiny. If you did your whole head like this, it would take you 3 million years. I don't know if I would like a full head of these curls. Like it's just not my vibe. This. It's giving ugly. That one's a mm. for me. Now this twisty thing that has a piece of metal inside that twists. I had a feeling this one was gonna give ugly too because this is so raveled in there. It's so tight. These things are so small. It just is kind of giving us like a weird shape. You know what I mean? Like when I pull on it, it's giving irregular. It's giving strange. It's giving like not what I wanted it at all. I don't know. That one's kind of an mm. for me too. Like not my favy, not my vibe. And it would just also take forever to do to your hair. And I don't want to take three hours to do that to every single strand of my hair. It would just be so annoying. I'm not feeling this one. Okay, next we have the flex rod. I think I got that one correct. Oh, this one was a bay. It's coming out so easily. It's so easy to use. I like using this. I like the way the curl came out. It's definitely more of like a wave as pattern. It's definitely tight, but that comes with the territory when you're wrapping the hair up on a tiny little rod. They come in bigger sizes, but this one so far is like my favorite. I just love the way that looks. That is what I want. The straw. Ooh, 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 the straw. Obviously the straw is tiny. So you're gonna get like crimped waves. Like look at, <laughs> when I take this out, look at how crimped that hair is. It is If you wanna take your time into your entire head with it, I think it would look sick. And then if you brush this out, oh my God, I do like this one a lot. Now we have this as seen on TikTok thing that you put across your head and you wrap around. So we're taking it out. I am automatically obsessed. I think it's a great size for doing beautiful waves and curls in your hair. I love the way this came out. It gave me that perfect, like soft curl to the hair. And if you wrapped your entire side of your head around this, it would be beautiful. And it's so easy. It's like all you have to do is wrap two sides, go to bed, wake up, unravel it. It's one of my favorites for sure. I love the way this came out. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10s 10, 10 across the board, baby. The dirty sock, Um, I did like this one. I liked applying it because it was just like easy to do. And it's like, you can just find it around your house and anybody can do it. I love not having to spend money on things. You know, I also love spending money. I unraveled this one and actually it was pretty beautiful. I mean, it wasn't like exactly what I was looking for. But again, we're working with such little hair, you're gonna get like the most intense wave and curl possible. So this one actually was giving me energy and life. If I did like six sections around the head and did this with a lot more hair and went to bed and slept on it and woke up and unraveled it, it would give you really, really nice waves. It'd be a little bit tighter than say the um, TikTok thing, but it would still be really beautiful. And I like this one. The Velcro roller. I love a Velcro roller. So I'm undoing it and I love the way it looks. This one's gonna give you like a volume curl. And if you brush it out, it's gonna give you like that more finger wave style wave. This one has a lot of volume and most of the other ones don't. So I like this one. I like the way this came out. I've used them obviously before and I, I enjoy them. And they're really easy to use because they're Velcro. Now we have our two boring ones. Sorry, I did the boring ones last. I know. Pink curls actually looking slay. Pink curls are classics. It's just a beautiful, like easy way to do your hair without using really any tools besides a little clip at the end. But those are pretty cheap and um, pretty easy to find. So a pretty reliable curl that is very, old fashioned style, but beautiful. And it gives you that bouncy curl, but it's also more flatter, more of that finger wave style, I'd say. And I really like it. You know how to braid looks. If you don't, then 
here it is again. I love a braid. A braid is a great way to just get beautiful waves overnight. So uh, I feel like people, you know, don't even think about that sometimes. So I wanted to include it. You don't even need tools. Like you just braid your hair and even tease the bottom with a comb or a brush and it'll stay all night. And in the morning you'll have beautiful, sexy waves. I love braids for waving hair or doing heatless wave curl methods. It's perfect. It's great. So this is all 11 methods next to each other. This is what we got. My personal favorite is that TikTok thing. <laughs> and also that that shrinky sleeve thing. Those two are a vibe. I would definitely use those on my own hair. It's really fun. Well, that is all the techniques I have time for today. I hope I helped you. I hope you've ended up trying some of these out yourself. They're honestly so easy to do and literally anybody who with no hair experience can do it. And um, honestly, heatless styling is the vibe. If you would like to check out my hair care line or my hair color line, you can do so with the links right down below or go to xmodohair.com. That is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll See you next time. Bye.